Hello, my name is Janet and in today's video I'm going to take you through the synopsis of Incident in the Park by Menja Mwangi. The Incident in the Park by Menja Mwangi is a contemporary episode set in the city park and its environs where most citizens, hustlers and workers spend most of their time as an outdoor recreation center. We know it is the popular Uhuru Park in Nairobi through its vivid description. Metaphorically described, the park is seriously affected by the drought in August. There is a dirty lake at its base and to the west up the hill a cathedral, modern fortress and ministerial offices overlooking the park below and across it it is the city itself. A highway, Uhuru Highway, separates the park from the city and on it there is heavy traffic. In the east, parliament and two city clocks are seen. Therefore, the park provides a relaxing oven, chilling point and a source of solace for the misplaced, lost or frustrated masses flocking the city daily. This has attracted many people including peddlers trying to make ends meet and idlers killing their time here. The city hungry officers, office workers also buy cheap snacks during the lunch hour and return to their stations. Others rush down to River Road to buy chips and roast meat as the laterers watch the spectre in a jiffy. Soon, the park is left with a few idlers and peddlers. Under the slightest shade lie men sheltering from the scorching sun. Watchers watch rowers paddling, reacting to the maxim that spectating is the next best thing to participating. Elufa keeps uh, dropping debris to the fish pond, despite the warning inscription on a board. Another man joins him and a dialogue ensues and they share a cigarette. An incident erupts when two city constables demand to see the license of ice cream man and a fruit seller. The old man helplessly searches and realizes he does not have it. Worse, he has no identity card, so he offers the five shillings he has for the fears for he fears the judge and going to jail. He begs for forgiveness, offering all the fruits in vain. On seeing that they are unimpressed, he flees to find refuge in the crowded city, and the cops chase him. He is snapped by a man on the highway and eventually falls into a ditch. There the poor man is condemned and add off for being a thief. Thank you so much for having me take you through this synopsis and I hope this helps you to improve on your English. Kindly remember to subscribe, please share this video and see you in the next lesson.